What's going on guys? It is Christmas Eve today, so I'm just finishing up some last minute stuff that I've been neglecting to do because I procrastinate a lot. First off, some other things that I've done lately. I print I found out that my school has a 3D printer and I was using this right before I left, so I wish I would have known about it a bit longer. But here's some of the stuff I got to do. I printed out this elder wand. It took like two hours. I just painted it. And this, this is my favorite. This is also going to my brother. I, if you played Jack and Dexter back in the day, or if you're still a huge fan like me, come on. Look how sick that is. It's a precursor orb. I just, everything comes out black, so I paint it over it. Anyway guys, what you came here for. What I'm doing, I'm making the four original Perca-Colas for my brother. So I've had these bottles sitting in this, well it was hot soapy water for a while, but now it's like freezing, so hopefully the labels come off nice and easy. Alright, so what I got here are four just regular cream soda bottles, obviously drank everything because it tastes good, and I've kept these for about a month now, <laughs> so it's about time to use them. So. If everything works out right, the label should come off pretty easily. These are different labels, they're not like paper labels, so I probably should have thought through here, because now there's like sticky stuff I'm gonna have to get off after this, but that'll come off easily. But if you soak it for long enough, I mean, you shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> Probably would have helped had I not cut my fingernails this morning, but whatever. There's still a little bit of residue here, so a sponge should do the trick. We're finished with that got it off as well as I could. I also need to rinse out the insides of the bottles. As you can see, there's a lot of bubbles in there from the soap. There's also, if you can tell, there's gonna be little numbers on the bottom of your bottle, most likely. And if you soak them for long enough, or if you just put them under hot water or something, they should come off pretty easily. So, let's see. Yeah, it's coming right off. Now that we have all four of these bottles cleaned off to the best of our abilities, I just got unlucky and grabbed the worst possible bottles in terms of labels and they were just rough to come off so it took me a bit longer than anticipated but anyway it's time to add the color um, you can use food coloring just a few drops will do you don't have to overdo it so like I said I'm doing the four original so I have speed cola quick revive jug I'm using all Gatorade by the way and double tap. Double tap isn't this dark of orange. I'm pretty sure it's a shade of orange, but this was like the best color I could find. So what we're gonna do is just dilute it a bit with yellow. So we're gonna start off with double tap first. I have a funnel here to make things a bit easier. If you don't, well, it's probably gonna get messy. <laughs> It's time to put on the labels. I use tape to kind of help me line these up so they'll all be at roughly the same height. It doesn't have to be perfect, but right here I just have some name tag label paper that I bought from Michaels and I have the little logos printed on them so I have to cut them out and then we'll just put them on. We don't have to glue them so it'll look pretty nice. We got one more step if anybody wants to take this one step further and make these look even more legit. I went out to Ikea, and you can't really see all of it because there's just so much. It's a big jumbled mess, look at that. It's a dioder, you can get it for about 25 to 30 bucks at Ikea, and it's basically just LED lights, and I'm gonna sit them underneath these bottles and it's gonna look kick ass. And that's pretty much it guys. The bottles are done, they look pretty dope. The dioder is set up under here as you can see. And I have it set to white, as you can see there's a little switch mine came with, yours probably will too. You can use it to change the colors if you just move the little knob. But I like to keep it on white so the green, the blue, the red, and the orange all stand out. It's a wonderful nightlight if you're scared of the dark like me. And let's do one more thing because we have a light on here. Let's see what it looks like in the pitch black. 
Come on now. That is freaking dope. If you enjoy, guys, please be sure to leave a like rating. I'd really appreciate it. I'm thinking about doing more crafty stuff on this channel. This was a really simple project to do. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be crafty or artsy, whatever you want to call it. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.